What's going on guys? So I'm actually in the middle of a move. That's why I haven't been posting lately. Um, I'm actually setting up the shed right now to be my little display room. I'm gonna have all my setups in here. Um, but I did just get my Family Matters package. So let's go ahead and open this and see what everybody's complaining about. All right, and here is the Family Matters 3-pack out of the packaging. All the way to the left, we have Quicksilver, Magneto, and Wanda, Scarlet Witch. And in my opinion, Scarlet Witch is definitely the breadwinner of the 3-pack. Uh, all her joints are really good. The face paint is great on her. They just they did a great job with that head sculpt. Uh, Magneto's head sculpts, uh, I'm not too happy with this one. Um, I just think the helmet looks elong elongated or something, but... It's it's cool. But I do like this helmet a lot more. I am seeing online that a few people will have a gripes with Magneto's head and how high it sits. Um, I could agree with that, but I do think, you know, at certain angles and stuff like that, it looks completely appropriate. It looks great, actually. Uh, Quicksilver is on the, what was it, the UK Spidey Buck. And I really do like this figure. I think it's a solid mold for him. They did a great job. But the head sculpt is really, really big on him. Um, it's just the angles are kind of weird on it. I just, I don't really like the size of that head sculpt. If it could be one centimeter smaller, it would be perfect. But I am happy with him. I am happy with the three pack altogether. But let's go ahead and dive into each figure and see what they're all about. All right, so we'll start off with Magneto. I am really happy with this figure. I do wish that they chose the UK Spidey Bucky, no, not Bucky Cap. I do wish they chose the Spidey UK mold. I do wish he had the uh, butterfly joints like um, like Quicksilver. But I mean, I guess this is a good mold. It's uh, the, the size is appropriate. I don't believe this is the Bucky Cap mold. I think it might be the Reaper mold. Um, but I am happy with the figure. Um, the cape does kind of suck, but at least we got an accurate Magneto cape. Um, I will be looking online, seeing if I can find a, uh, a cloth cape. I do agree that the neck peg is a little long and his head sticks up a little big, but altogether I am happy with the figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at articulation. You can look left and right really well. You can look up pretty good, down pretty well. Um, kind of got to move the cape around. You can look further down. All right, ah, the cape bugging me. Let me go ahead and take that off. Shoulders go up really well, 360 at the bicep and double jointed elbows. You get a 360 and a hinge on the wrists. Get a torso, swivel there, kick up, thigh swivel, double jointed knee, boot swivel, and pivot on the boot. So articulation is there, he's a great figure. All right, and here's a quick look at Quicksilver, and I am really happy with his figure. I'm glad that they put him on the UK Spidey mold, so he has the butterfly joints. So that just, it honestly should be on all the figures by now. This just offers so much more articulation and posability for photography and stuff like that. So please give us more butterfly joints. My only real gripe with this figure is the head is too big. I don't know, it just... It kind of looks good from the side right there, but I don't know. I just feel like his head is just way too big. Um, I heard some people saying that the paint job on his um, lightning bolt design is a little spotty. Mine came out great. Um, there is a little spot right there and there in his rib and in his chest. But other than that, it's it's fine. Nothing, nothing looks bad on it at all. I really like the blue... Uh, he came with the alternate hands, so he has fists and the running hands, slapping hands, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I am happy with this figure. There's not a whole lot going on. He's kind of more one of those more simple designs. But we finally got an updated Quicksilver. <clears throat> I don't have the Toy Biz one to compare it to, 
but I am happy with this one, and I do feel like this is the definitive Quicksilver for my collection. Maybe one day we'll get the green one, but I'm happy with this one for now. All right, now taking a look at Wanda. Um, sorry if the lighting just changed, it's just closed the door, so there's no more sunlight coming in here. <clears throat> but I am really happy with this figure. I feel like she is the breadwinner of the collection. Um, whoever the whoever did the head sculpt did an amazing job. The eyes, the lips, the nose, everything came out really great on mine. I did see online that a couple people's was messed up and a few people were returning theirs. But I'm very happy with mine. The, the face paint, everything came out great. The hair looks amazing. The articulation is great on this figure. I'm very glad they didn't give her the boots. Um, I do like the effects that came with her. Uh, I have that one on her hand. This is another one right here. Uh, very cool stuff. Wraps around her arms very easily. Uh, the design's a little bit shinier than the old Odin Wave one. But I really do like this one. Um, it's very cool. The cape came out great. The back of the hair looks amazing. Um, the articulation is just like any other female mold. So I'm not going to go over that. Um, but yeah. This is a great figure. I have no complaints about this figure. I stand her up very easily. Yeah. Very happy with her. Alright, so this was a super, super quick review. Everybody and their mom already got this three-pack. Um, it kind of hit early from Amazon and psh, took a chunk out of my wallet. Not a big chunk, but I really didn't hunt anything this weekend because this three-pack came out and I was waiting for it. A few people got it on Saturday. I got it late Sunday afternoon. Uh, got here about 3 o'clock and I'm kind of rushing through this right now. Um, I really do like this three pack. Uh, the only gripes really are the head sculpts. Uh, they're kind of too big. And that's really it. I really do like Magneto. I kind of wish we got soft goods cape. But who knows if that will ever happen with Hasbro. Um, but I am really happy with this three pack. What did you guys think of it? Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail because everybody has it like I said. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this review. Let me know what you guys think of the three pack. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big X-Men fan. So these are definitely definitive figures for my collection. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do some setups. Do some shots. Let me know what you guys thought. Subscribe. Comment. Catch you guys next time. Alright, so I got this little setup going on right now. It's like, um, let's just say Magneto's throne room. And, you know, somebody's coming up to talk to him. And he calls his children forward, and there's Wanda and Quicksilver stopping. This is just something I'm coming up with real quick. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time to set up a big setup and do some action shots. So I thought this would be something simple for me to get back into. I haven't done a setup probably since the Wolverine came out. The uh, Weapon X Beast. Oh, I, <clears throat> I got Beast, I just haven't done a setup for him yet. But um, yeah, I haven't done a setup in probably a month. So, starting off with something simple. Let me know what you guys think of this. What I should change, what I should work on. Uh, I got that little smoke effect, wind effect going on. So it looks like it just stops real quick. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Crispy.